Hey there. So uh, I got this email from uh, Dave that asks, what do I do with the files? Uh, kind of like, uh, you know, Ed sent out some quarter one pre-files and he says, Dennis, I may have missed it, but what do we do with the leaf files that were just sent out? Let me share my screen here so we can walk you through what you do when you want to, you know, every quarter that you start. So here's the email. So the first thing you want to do is go to the league website. Now Ed says here, first quarter league file, you do not need, need to download this, but you kind of really do. I like, I mean, you don't really need to, you could just load the pre-files, but um, by doing this, you're going to be able to see um, your stats as the games go on. And you can use it to look at other teams and scout them and stuff like that. So you do want to um, load this file. So you, the first thing you do is you click on click on the first quarter league file. It will open up. It's a zip file. Put it somewhere where you know where to find it. I'm going to put it in the downloads directory. Okay, so once that file is downloaded, you go to your league manager and you click on league, restore league figure out where you put it, and I put it in the downloads directory, which will always be accessible via the quick access button. Uh, so here it is, psalmsfoq1.leag. So double click that, or click it and say open, and now the league is imported. So now you're ready to load your pre-files. Okay, so you take the email that Ed sent you. So let's see what we got here. So you take these pre-files, here's Psalms for Q1 pre-files. You download that. And again, it's going to be zipped. So after it's downloaded, you, you click it to open it. And you'll see you have four pre-files here with your team's name in it. You're going to grab those and put them in the receive directory. Now, I have a little shortcut here to go directly to my receive directory, but um, you can go to your, most of you will have it on C and then Stratomatic Football, and then the Receive Directory, okay? So I'm going to take those files and copy them in there. Once you have them over there, so you, you, know, you open up the zip file, you could drag them over, or you, I, what I did is I, I copied them and placed them in there. So you could take them here. Let's do this again. Okay, let me let me just show show you one quick thing. Like if you if you just restored the league file and you started your game, you're going to see there's no games in there. So here at the Sansfa, oh, I already loaded the pregame file. So let me try this again. So walk through the steps. Step one, restore the league file. Okay, so once you do that, if you load your your game, you'll see there's still there's no pre-files loaded because that's that wipes them out. So there's no games in here. What the pre-files do is it gets your you ready to play your games. So we're gonna Again, the next step is to download the pre-files, open them up, and put them in your receive directory. Yours will probably be C colon backslash stratomatic football backslash receive. So we're gonna grab those pre-files and drag them over. Now, when you start your game, you'll see that those pre-files get placed into the right directory. And they're ready to go. See, they're out of this directory here, the receive file. They've now been moved over here. 
So now when you're ready to play, now as new coaches, you probably want to let the other guy host. But you'll see all four of your quarter one games are now available. And then when you're playing online, if you're hosting the game, you click on click on the game you want to host, and then you click on launch new game server. Click launch. And then give your opponent your IP. So you can find that at ip4.me so you would give your opponent this ip address and they would connect to you and then you could start playing if they're hosting you want to use the join server click on the league file down here click on the game it doesn't really matter when you're joining the join server and then put your opponent's ip address in there and connect okay and then after the game is over, when you play a game, here, let's do this, just to give you an idea of what it's like. When you're playing your opponent online after the game is over, So we're going to well you know in, in a real game you're actually going to be playing it but this is just an autoplay game so i'm going to show you what happens after it's over So there, now the game's over, right? Make sure you get to the point where it actually says game over. Okay, so that's the end of the game. Say good game to your opponent, whatever. After you're done, if you go into the send directory, which will be in the same Stratomatic football directory, but you go down to the send directory, and in there will be a file called .post. You want to take that and email it NFL ad. So you say Psalms for Seattle versus Washington. And then you attach your pre file or your post file, excuse me, from the send directory. Sorted by date modified, the newest ones will be on top. So there it is, attach that, and then you hit send. Now I'm not gonna do this because this I didn't really play this game, so I'm gonna cancel that, but that's basically what you do. We already set up port forwarding on your machines, so you should be able to, step one, again, go to the Psalms for site, download the Lee file. Take, this, take the .leg out of the zip file, place it in the downloads directory or somewhere where you can find it. Step two, restore that file. Step three, get the email with the pre-files in it. Download that. Open it up and grab your four pre files. Put them in the receive directory. Launch your game to make sure that they loaded. After the game's over, 
find the post file that's in the send directory, email that to NFL at. Okay? All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to shut this down, but hopefully that gives you an idea on what you need to do, how to get started playing in SOMSFA. And this goes for SSFA, SOMIFA, any of the other leagues. Okay, take care.